this is a little video on a windmill I just made. I saw a couple online again and they were eight feet long for about a hundred dollars and I saw the one I wanted was 14 feet and it was 400 bucks so I said hmm I think I might give her a shot. I took this is the galvanized duct work it's already curved for six inch I had about a six foot piece of that and I just kind of came up with a blade size and cut several out had this little bit of tubing here I wish I could have made the hub out of metal but I couldn't cut a disc out big enough so that's out of wood I put about five coats of urethane on it this is a spindle I got at a tractor place for a um, pulley off of a big lawnmower and I just welded a bolt on the end of a one inch square tubing and then this is a hub I got at Harbor Freight they have these sandwiched together for uh, wheelbarrow tires and that's one side of it with the bearing that's probably going to be the weak joint there but I can always replace it and then this, I hadn't screwed this down yet because I'm getting ready to set it up. I took a 5 8 bolt that was like 7 inches long and welded this to my 1 inch. And I'm just going to tighten that down in there. really doesn't need to be tight because it's not going anywhere. And then again, I couldn't cut a sheet of that out of metal, so this is just made out of paneling. And I put about 5 coats of latex, so that ought to handle it. But the rotor is 38 inches in diameter. And the tower's 12 feet, so to the top of that top blade right there is going to be about 13 and a half feet is what I'm going to end up with. But anyway, I'm getting ready to set her up. Well, you can't see out there in the field, but I'm pretty pleased with this. I'll show you what it looks like spinning, hopefully.